yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L.O. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you. Yes, you. Thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, do me a favor and like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so I'll let you know when I drop another video. So today what I want to do is actually show you guys how to actually convert from Cakewalk to Reaper. I know this may be a touchy subject for some of you guys, but a lot of people are waiting on Cakewalk and not sure which direction they want to go. People are still waiting on pricing from Cakewalk uh, and uh, Sonar and Next prod products that they're actually coming out with next. With this uh, setup that I'm actually doing now, if you currently have Cakewalk by BandLab and you have like CWP files, you'll be able to pull those up in Reaper. No issues there. You'll be able to convert to Reaper a whole lot easier. Um, I'm also going to give like a configuration file. It will be on my website. Uh, it'll probably come with a charge. But if you actually just want to go through all the steps with me, you can just watch this video, go step by step. If you didn't want to actually pay for the configuration file, that is perfectly fine with me. But let's begin. All right. So first and foremost, we need to go to reaperfm.com so we can actually get the Reaper stuff. So this is what the website will bring you up to. And you want to scroll down. Um, if you want to actually purchase it, you can purchase it here. Um, it is fairly affordable. It is $60 for a discounted license. If you're going to do some commercial license is $225. But right now, all you need to do is just download it. So you're just going to download Reaper. So you're going to scroll down and right here is a window section. If you have a Mac, you can use it on Mac and you can actually use it on Linux as well. So let's just download it. All right. So I have Reaper. I'm going to download Reaper now. I'm just going to open up this file and it pops up with the license agreement. Just hit agree. And right here is where I'm going to actually change it from what you guys actually have. I'm going to do a portable install just so it doesn't overwrite the one that I actually have on my computer right now. And this is uh, Reaper version 7.14. So this is the latest version of Reaper uh, right now. Look, I'm going to load it on my flash drive though. And that is the beauty of Reaper is that you can actually run the whole program straight from a flash drive. Uh, that's how small the imprint that it has on there. All right. So I'm going to name this. Um, so basically I'm showing you all this completely from scratch. So I'm going to install a portable and put it on my uh, drive. All right. And it is completed now. Let's hit close on here. And you can hit run now so we can run it. All right. And when you first run Reaper, you'll have this, the VSTs installing. I'm going to let it run uh, and run the VSTs. Uh, so basically, if you have VSTs already set up on your computer, Reaper will actually find them and load them inside of Reaper. Makes it a whole lot easier than a lot of the other DAWs out there. So you don't necessarily have to worry about finding your VSTs. But I'm going to let it run. I'm going to fast forward through it, though. All right, so I was able to actually finish downloading it and now you can see it says uh, you have not selected an audio interface, so let's select one. All right, and I'm going to change this and go to my ASIO drivers. I'm gonna hit okay. All right, and here we are in Reaper. So Reaper has just pulled up. This is the first time pulling it up in here. Basically, this is what you will get when you first download Reaper. It's basically going to tell you if you're evaluating or not. Um, and then you can just hit still evaluate. So basically, you wait five seconds, and then you can hit this still evaluating. And you have fully unlocked Reaper. So you can use Reaper however you want to right now, whether you're making tracks, whether you're doing beats, whether you're mixing, mastering, whatever you want to do. You can do that right here inside of Reaper now. All right. So uh, once we're in this Reaper, um, there's usually a section up here that will say extensions. And as you see, it is not here. So the first thing I want to do is go to the options. And I want to scroll down to where it says show Reaper resource path and explore, right? 
So this right here is what we need to uh, install the rest of the stuff. As you can see, it's on my flash drive inside of this Reaper cakewalk setup. All right, so we're gonna keep this open and we're gonna close out Reaper. All right, so now Reaper is closed and we still have our files where we can actually put stuff. So uh, my suggestion, uh, the easiest way to do this is to go to the user plugins and actually double click in there and then you can just add whatever you need to in here. So we're gonna add like the themes, we're gonna add the um, other setups that we need all inside here. Makes it a lot easier to set everything up. All right, so once we're in there, we can go back to the website for Reaper and they have this option here for resources. So you can go to the resources, you can do themes, you can do Reapack, you could do the SWS file extension. But the good thing about Reaper right now is that you only need the Reapack. So the Reapack actually comes with the SWS extension in it now, so you don't have to actually do it separately, which is super, super cool. And if you go to the themes, you can go to themes and it'll take you here. And I have the link below to this one. This is the one that looks like Cakewalk. So you can actually have themes that look like different DAWs. And this one actually looks like Cakewalk and it's by Feed the Cat. So definitely download that. The link should be below in the description of the video. And I'll show you where to put that as well. And the next place you would need to go would be this Reapack package manager. So you wanna go there and this is what the page will look like. This is the Reapack. Uh, they have user guide, so if you want to learn how to actually install it, they have a user guide here to show you all the steps you need to actually install Reapack. And basically your downloads are here on this right hand side. And you want to choose whatever Windows version you actually have. If you're still running 32 bit, they still have it for 32 bit. But uh, 64 bit is probably the one you want to go with or the one you actually uh, use, right? So we're going to download that. All right, and we also want to download this file from Aslo. Um, big shout out to Aslo. He actually created a file where you can convert the CWP files into Reaper files. So you'll be able to open up almost any Cakewalk file and use it inside of Reaper. Sometimes there are files that Cakewalk has, like if you're using like the um, compressor inside of the Pro Channel, those type of things, the Pro Channel stuff won't actually pull up inside of Reaper the same. The EQ will, because Reaper has an EQ in it as, already. So the EQ will pull up, but like the compressors and the different modules that they have in there will not pull up inside of Reaper. So you may get an error message when you actually pull it up inside of Reaper, unless you're using like third party where it'll pull up automatically. This link is below in the description. So basically you go right here to where it says this RIA CWP 0.0R3. So basically you just download this zip file and we're gonna put it inside of Reaper, right? All right, so to make this easier, this is the user plugins. This is the the Reaper files over here, and I'm gonna go to my downloads, right? And I'm gonna drag in this Reaper Reapack DLL file. I'm just gonna drag it into my user section, and boom. So now the DLL file is gonna automatically run inside here once I open up Reaper again. And I also wanna do that for this RIA, RIA CWP, the zero one. So this is the one that'll actually open up the CWP file. So I'm gonna double click on here and I'm gonna go to the one for 64 bit, right? And here is the DLL file for that. So I'm gonna grab that and drop it inside here as well. So now I have my option to open up Cakewalk files and I also have my RIA pack in here. All right, and I'm also gonna grab this uh, Echo FT Reaper theme. So what we gotta do is actually go to the themes folder inside of Reaper and it's easy to get there. So I'm just gonna go up one, right? And it has an option here that says color themes. So I can double click on there. And these are the two themes that come with Reaper. And all I can do is just drag and drop this one into Reaper. So now I actually have that as a theme inside of my Reaper as well. And it's called Eklot, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And this is by Feed the Cat. So um, if you follow the link below in the description, you should have that as well. So let's continue on. And I wanna go right here to the Reaper extension. This is basically what opens up Reaper. So I'm gonna double click on this. 
All right, so here we are in Reaper. And as you can see here, now I have an option for extensions. So my extensions is here now. So I have a Rea pack option. So let's go into Rea pack. All right, we're gonna browse packages. All right, so these are all the packages. So there is 1,966 packages in here. If you want to, you could just download them and it should be perfectly fine because these are all the ones that give you all the great features that Reaper actually has. So I'm just gonna hit select all and I'm gonna go to my actions and I'm going to install an update selection. Once I do this, I can actually do uh, update it manually do this. So I'm gonna hit yes on here. And it's gonna take some time to actually load all of these uh, plugins. So I'm gonna hit apply. And it's gonna download all of those files uh, from the web and then actually install them inside a Reaper. This may take some time because there is 4,100 things in here. So let's let that run and we'll probably fast forward through it. And once it's done, you'll actually see this pop up on here. More extensions were installed, newly installed, uh, won't be loaded until Reaper restarted. So I have to actually restart Reaper. So I'm gonna hit okay on here. And these are all the things that it actually downloaded in here is telling you all the uh, things that you actually installed, which is really cool. Um, hit okay on here. And I can hit okay on here, all right? And now I'm gonna close out of Reaper, all right? And I'm just gonna open up Reaper again. All right, and it gives you this option here now that says choose a language. So I'm gonna stick with English. All right, so here we are in Reaper once again. So now when I go to extensions, I have my SWS and you can go down here and it has auto, uh, enable auto track coloring. So you can do the auto coloring. All these things come from the SWS extensions. So now you can actually do it straight from the Rea pack. So you don't have to worry about trying to download two separate things. You just download the Rea pack, install all the ones that's in there and you should be good to go. All right, and when you click on import and repositories, you actually have this option to put the URLs in here. So let's say we go to Rea pack, right? And we have our repository list, right? So if I click on this, this is all the ones that actually you could download from Rea pack. There's a whole bunch of more that people have actually made. Um, I would suggest to get a couple of these on here for sure. You want to do, I would say definitely do this feed the cat tools. He has a really good, assortment of uh, plugins. So basically, if you want to do that, you can just right click on here, copy the link address, right? And then you go back into Reaper and you basically just paste it in here. And you could do that for several of them. So if you want to do another one, you could just, you can actually do it to all of them if you want to. And I'm gonna do this Sonic Anomaly one. This is for uh, like effects. So I can right click on here, copy link address, go back into Reaper. So you can add multiple ones in here. And um, if you hit okay, it's gonna pull up those repositories. It's gonna download them as you can see. All right, so this is what's telling you it installed 69 of them. And these are all the things that it actually installed on here. You hit okay on there. And to make it take effect, you will have to close out of Reaper and reopen it in order for those changes to make effect. The customization in Reaper is so amazing. You can do pretty much whatever you want from here. So if I'm gonna go up to the uh, options and I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna go to where it says themes. So some of these come with uh, Reaper already, but I'm gonna go to this one right here, this uh, Eclat one. So basically this gives you the feel of Cakewalk. Drag this up. And if I double click over here, I can add a track. And this is kind of what the tracks look like. And there's so many ways you can actually have things set up in here. So it has the effects just like it would inside of uh, Cakewalk. It looks exactly like that. 
to arm your tracks will be the same. You hit the little red button and it'll arm it. If you want to move your control panel, you can right click in this little area here. So right now it has where it's below the arranger. So this part up here is the arranger, right? So you go right here and you could go above the ruler, which would be this ruler up here, right? And if you wanted to put it at the bottom of the window, you could put it at the bottom. You could do it at the top of main window as well. So let's do that. So this is the top of the main window and it just puts it right up here. And if I wanted to put it at the bottom, I could put it at the bottom and have my play and stuff all the way down here at the bottom of the screen if I wanted to as well. So really, really convenient way of kind of making this your own. But I'll just leave it above the ruler. Another thing that UK Walk has, so you can go to um, view and you can go to where it says Media Explorer, right? And it'll pop up the Media Explorer at the bottom. So just like Cakewalk, you can kind of move this wherever you want to. So if you wanted to put it like on the right hand side, this little box shows me. I could put it on the right hand side, right? So now kind of like Cakewalk, I could have my uh, stuff over here where I can see my Explorer, right? You have an option to undock it here. This little button here will undock it. Right. Or I can have it docked. Doesn't necessarily matter. It matters whatever preference you want to actually have it at. Uh, and if you wanted to, you can move your master over here to this right hand side as well. So if I wanted to move, let's say this master, right? So master track, right? I can go to the top here, show a mixer, show on right side of mixer, show in a separate window or show in Docker. So I can go and move it to the right side of the mixer. So now my master is right here on the right hand side, just like it is inside of Cakewalk and you have your regular tracks here. So if you want to add a track, you can just double click, add a track, right? So all those little functions are here as well. So what makes this like really, really cool is I can open up a CWP file and actually load it up inside of Reaper. So let me show you that. All right, so this is my uh, CWP file. So I, if I drag this into Reaper, just drag it in Reaper, it's gonna actually load up that project. All right, and it's gonna pop up with this saying the unsaved project. I'm not gonna save it, hit no. So now it's gonna load up the project itself. Tell me not everything was converted. There was two conversions that didn't go through. So that's what it's telling me here. So I'm gonna hit okay. And it's gonna load up the rest of the track. So boom, so I have all the tracks here. I need to change the uh, settings for this as well because it just drives me crazy. All right, so you have all your stuff in here. So all the vocals is in there and the tracks are in here. Uh, even my MIDI is in here as well. Uh, as you see, it did this weird thing with the layering of the tracks. So I can go here, right click inside here and go to uncheck this one that should show multiple rows. I'm gonna uncheck that. So now we have a familiar looking screen here for Cakewalk. So all of like the buses are on their own bus kind of track. So if I play it, Right, so we have all that in here. So here is my my master track. Um, and the things I didn't load are more than likely the things that um, we're using the stuff inside of Cakewalk. Like I was saying, like it doesn't do like your bus compressors and stuff like that. But if you have like an EQ on something, you can always open it up and you can see that Reaper has replaced it. It's the same exact EQ settings that I actually had on the other one is right here inside of Reaper. So this should help you guys out tremendously when actually getting everything set up inside of Reaper for Cakewalk. So you have your look, you have your feel, you have your tracks that you can open up. If you have an old CWP file, you can actually load those up, but there are still some settings that you may want to change inside here. Like for the scrolling, like the scroll of mouse wheel will go 
zooming in and out instead of going up and down. So these are things that you probably want to change inside here. It'll give you a better feel um, for it if you do that. So if you double click on the MIDI editor, you can bring up the MIDI editor. You can have it floating around if you want to. You can also dock this. So if I hit on dock, it'll bring it down here to the bottom, give you that kind of cakewalk feel. Um, if you wanted to have your stuff on the side here, kind of like cakewalks piano roll, you can show track list like right down here. And boom, it'll show me the track list of the stuff that's in there. Right. So if I double click on here, it'll stretch this out. So now you have your full piano roll kind of here uh, and, you know, do your edits if you want to. So, yeah. So now you have your piano roll kind of set up the way it would be inside of Cakewalk. You have the look of Cakewalk. You kind of have that feel. Uh, you just want to make sure that you have all your other buttons and things set up in here. And that's why I've actually created a configuration file for you to actually have all that set up. So uh, the first thing you want to do once we actually have everything set up inside of Reaper is go to your options, go down to your preferences. All right. And once you're in preferences, you want to go all the way up to the top and go to general, right? So basically it gives you an option to export your configuration. So this is what you want to do the first time you've ever used Reaper that so that way you can always go back to the original default of however this pro program or project was click on export and you just check all these boxes off and then you save it to wherever you're going to save it to. So if you wanted to, you know, you could do all the settings that it currently has. This is the original settings of the doll. So you click on all of these. All right, so all of them are clicked and then you can just hit on save and it'll ask you where you want to do it. Reaper automatically goes to your setup and it has a configuration folder in here where you can actually back up all the stuff that you've just done and make sure everything is set up in there. So you could, could have a configuration file. So if you want to, I actually have a configuration file. It is for sale It is on my website, go to X E L O H H.com, or it should be a link below in the description of this video. So you can actually download the configuration file for cakewalk so that your functions inside of cakewalk will be exactly like cakewalks functions is currently right now. I'll go through a couple of them. I actually have some Reaper videos showing you how to set up the piano roll how to change the settings in your configuration. So I have some videos on my other channel, which is called Learning Reaper. So definitely, if you haven't already, join that channel if you are moving from Cakewalk to Reaper. But like I said, if you want to actually get the configuration file, I do have it for sale on the site. So you guys can get the configuration and set up Cakewalk uh, currently how it is in your regular Cakewalk. But yeah, so basically you just back this up and you'll have your configuration file, right? And once you get if you download mines, you can just go to import configuration, right? And basically just make sure you drag and drop it inside of your, whatever your Reaper setup is like configuration file. It'll always have a folder in here that uh, says configuration. So you can grab any, grab any configuration that you have, put it in here and load it up inside of Reaper. I know this is a lot. Um, it's not really that easy to kind of get everything set up, but, um, I try to make it as simple as possible for you guys to get everything set up. So uh, I'm gonna go import one from Minds. Let's see here. All right, I have a Reaper piano roll set up in here already, right? So I can go to configurations and I can load it up, right? And just hit open. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna import and it's gonna restart the project all right, so hit okay. All right, so now um, it'll have all the added stuff in here, as you can see. So you can actually download this piano roll setup from my website if you wanted to do that. Just go to xelohh.com and there's an option in there that says Reaper piano roll setup, right? And you can just download that. I'm gonna hit import.
All right. So reverb pops up again and here we go. It says this, this is not free and I'm going to hit on still evaluating. All right. So now we have Reaper kind of set up the way it should be. I use my configuration file, so I'm just going to drag and drop this in here again. It's giving me a warning that two of them didn't convert over. Hit OK. And boom, the magic happens. So this is how Reaper looks, and this is why a lot of people are not that fond of Reaper, because I don't really like this uh, theme as well. This is the original default theme. So what I'm going to do is go to my options and I'm going to scroll down till I get to themes and I'm going to go to the Eclat by Feed the Cat. So boom. So looks so much better. Right click on here. Make sure you the multiple roles is off. And uh, you can always save this as a default. Like your whatever settings you change in here, you can save them as a default. And you can right click on here and move this back up to the top above the ruler. So now you have your transport and stuff up here. Um, your piano roll down here. And I've added a couple of grids on here as well. Um, and a major and minors as well. You can actually add them really easy. Um, I have it set to a one click, but you can always change this to how Cakewalk is. And the one I have for Cakewalk will be different from this piano roll one where it'll do the double click to add the notes on here. So yeah, so now you see that you can actually have this working inside of Reaper looking exactly how Cakewalk would kind of look and still even pull up Cakewalk files in here. So that's what makes it really, really good um, so if you're actually leaving Cakewalk and you want to try another DAW, I could suggest to try Reaper. Like I said, I have a whole other channel called Learning Reaper. And it'll, I go through a, a lot of these different things that they have inside here. Um, things that Cakewalk doesn't have. So um, with that being said, I guess this should be the end of the video. I know it's kind of long. I appreciate you guys for sticking with me. If you're actually looking to move on from Cakewalk. In the description below, there should be an option where you can actually go in to my website, which is xeloh.com and download either the piano roll file or you can do the cakewalk one. I would suggest to do the cakewalk one. I'll actually do a lot of configurations exactly how cakewalk is. Like if you hit like K on your keyboard, that'll mute tracks. Uh, B will bring up the browser or the media explorer. Uh, so things like that will actually be the same inside of the configuration file for cakewalk but if you just want the piano roll one the piano roll one is there as well and like i said the piano roll one gives you an option just to click one time inside here and you can add a note this just makes it a lot easier for you to add notes inside of the piano roll that way all right so with that being said that's the end of this video i hope you guys like really really enjoyed this one and uh, let me know below if reaper is your choice for another dog if you know, the whole cakewalk thing doesn't work out the way you want to. Like I said, it's $69 for a license with Reaper, and we still don't know what Next or Sonar is going to be. So there's just an option for you guys if you want to choose to go that Reaper route. But yeah, once again, it's your boy, X.E.L.O. Until next time, people. Peace.